Hi, we're going to look at how to play Sweet Child of Mine. Very simple version of how to strum it on a, an acoustic guitar. Chords that we need to know for the verses are D, C added 9, a G, back to D. And they are really that's a chord progression for the verses. So we've got our D, C added 9, which sounds more complicated than it really is. We've got our little finger and ring finger on the 3rd fret of the E and the B string. 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the D. Middle finger on the 3rd fret of the A string. And when we move over to G, we're just moving these two fingers over one string so that we're now on the 2nd fret of the A, 3rd fret of the E for a G. One of the problems that a lot of beginners come across is needing to know what strumming pattern or rhythm that they're going to do. So if we uh, broach this from it, we're just going to look first of all at strumming the right chord in the right place before anything. So I'll play it through. So we're just looking at D. She's got a smile that it seems to me. Change into that. Say add at nine. Reminds me of childhood memories. Change into G. When everything was as fresh as the bright blue. About a day, sky, second half of the verse. Now and then when I see her face, say at nine, she takes me away to that special place, to J. And if I stayed too long, I'd probably break down and about a day, cry. For one thing of note is if you can't do that, then you're not going to be able to strum it. Just get them chords to be changing in the, the correct place as you sing the song. If we want to add a bit more tempo to that, if we think of if we set a metronome to the song, what would the metronome click to? So it would be something like this. She's got a smile that it seems to me Reminds me of childhood memories when everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky Two, three, four Now and then when I see her face She takes me away to that special place And if I stayed too long I'd probably break down and cry Two, three, four So that's very simply how, how to do it This particular song's been done by obviously most famously, if you're a rocker, Guns N' Roses, been done by Cheryl Crow. It's also been done, uh, I can't remember the name of the, i check, me notes, uh, Taken By Trees, which was uh, used recently uh, in an advert. It was played on a piano with a girl singing. Three completely, same song, same chords, but uh, three completely different tempos. Cheryl Crow's song was more more upbeat you know Guns N' Roses wasn't any strumming on that song and there certainly wasn't any strumming on a, a song played on the piano so it kind of shows that when it comes to the rhythm it can be very much dependent on your taste how you feel about doing it so if you wanted it more upbeat done more like that but if you use them simple steps of first of all getting the chords to change in the right place first of all before you start adding rhythm and then if you build that up to being able to play it almost following the pulse of the song as opposed to the rhythm like what you would set the metronome to like that you'll find that you get to know the song and then when you feel comfortable with that you can actually go on to uh, add the rhythm of like the beat. As for the chorus of this song, it's A to C to D. So you've got Whoa, oh, 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 sweet child of mine. Right A, oh, 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 C, sweet child of D, mine. There's like a little, um, in the actual song, there's guitar solos between after the chorus between the verses 
and that chord progression again is, C, is D to C edit 9 to G to D second verse she's got eyes of the bluest skies and if they thought of rain I'd hate to look into those eyes and feel an ounce of pain Her hair reminds me of a warm place safe where as a child that I Pray for the thunder and the rain to quietly pass me by Then to the chorus Oh, 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 oh sweet child of mine Oh, 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 sweet love of mine. And then we'll have that chord progression for the verse again, leading to the next chorus, which we've got D, C add at 9, to G, to D. Sticking with D, C add at 9. To G, to D, to E, C, to D. Again, oh, 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 sweet love of mine. To E, oh, 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 C, C love of mine. To E. Oh, 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 sweet love of mine. And that's really where in the Guns N' Roses version it leads to the guitar solo, which obviously if you're a beginner you're not going to be uh, playing just yet. But that's really very simply, it's not just a case of how to play Sweet Child of Mine, but how to approach uh, learning the strum songs. So as always, thanks for watching and I hope that helps.